Hi, I'm Hannah. Thanks for watching. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah. I am a mom and a knitter and I live in North Carolina with my husband and our son. Um, and I usually share my um, projects that I'm working on now, any acquisitions or um, designs that I'm working on. I design knitwear for children. Yeah, thanks for joining me. Um, today is a regular episode where I'm going to share my finished objects and my works in progress, yarn acquisitions. Actually, I do have one today. I know I shared earlier in my um, making plans video, I wasn't gonna buy new yarn, so just have to wait and see what I got. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, okay, so I'll get started. I don't have an actual physical um, finished object, but if you have been watching my videos, in the last one I shared that I finished my dad's um, sweater for his birthday. And yeah, I, he tried it on, it fit well. I was worried about it fitting over his head, so that wasn't a problem. Um, but the other concern was the length and it was a little short on him. So I'm going to get it back. He's traveling, but I'm going to get it back from him maybe today or tomorrow this week. I don't know. And add some more length so that he can feel comfortable wearing it. Um, but other than that, like it was exciting. It felt like it was a win. <laughs> I had anticipated like having to add maybe a little bit of length because it was just a lot shorter than like I thought when I finished it and looked at it. So yeah, I'm probably, I can't put it off because it's gonna get warm and he won't be able to wear it. So I have to do it now. <laughs> Telling myself that I haven't really modified a lot of sweaters. I'm usually like, okay, well, it is what it is when it's my own sweater, but because it's his, I, yeah, I wanna fix it and add the length for him. So it's probably gonna be like half an inch to an inch. Um, but yeah, I blocked it like as long as I could, so. There's no more, no more stretch in there. So anyway, I'll, I'll probably share a picture of him trying it on. Um, but it was, it was good. He was really excited about it. And I think he can still wear it without the length, but when I add it, I think it'll be more comfortable. So yeah, that was a finished object um, and a report back on, on how it went for his birthday. So I'm also gonna apologize. I'm sorry about the glare. If there's a glare on my glasses, I um, am out of contacts. <laughs> So I will have to go to the eye doctor soon and get more contacts. Um, yeah, so there's not a glare in all my videos. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so that's my only finished object. I haven't really, I feel like I haven't completed a lot of knitting projects lately. Um, my mind has just been, has been elsewhere, I guess, but I do have a lot of works in progress. <laughs> So this sweater that I'm working on has gotten a lot of attention lately. I think it's because Bethany um, from Woolberry, she reshared it and decided that she wanted to make one too, um, which was very kind. So anyway, I've just, I feel like a lot of people have been asking me questions about it or saying they want to make one too. And so I have shared it before. You guys have seen it. Um, but yeah, ooh, you can tell where I joined the yarn. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is my canvas sweater by um, Tet Vesh Knitwear, and she did it with um, or for Brooklyn Tweed. So um, you can buy it on their website or on Ravelry. So I'm knitting it with Vovo, which is by uh, Rosa Pomar. It's a Portuguese, 100% Portuguese wool. I got it from um, U Fibers in Charlottesville, Virginia. So yeah, this is actually a sport weight and I believe that the yarn weight is intended to be worsted, but I met the gauge and I think I'm happy with, it's more, like it's not see-through, I guess, but like it's more light, um, more airy than perhaps with like a worsted weight. So I think that will be great for my, my own climate. I could probably wear this like most months of the year, maybe obviously not like July or August, but um, it's just a lighter weight, so I'm, I'm really happy with that. I did notice in the picture that I posted on my stories, not on my feed, but um, you can tell where I joined the third yarn ball. And I can't tell if it's because I blocked this first part and then joined this. Um, and so like maybe the blocking, some of the color faded or washed out or whatever, um, but you can really tell what's not blocked, I guess. So yes, a little bit of just lighter, darker. So hopefully um, 
yeah, I don't really know what I'm gonna do about that. Probably just gonna hope for the best. <laughs> I I don't think it's that noticeable, but once I point it out, it's hard for me to, to miss. It's not gonna stop me from wearing it, but yeah, I'm kind of bummed about it. I'm just not gonna think about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just like a little darker down here, lighter up here, so we'll see. I'm almost done with like the um, textured part of the body. I have about seven inches and the pattern calls for a little bit more and then you add like the ribbing and so I think I'm going to add a tiny bit of length just so it's not quite as cropped um but yeah I'm excited I'm, I'm almost done with the body sort of I think I'll finish it maybe this week hopefully and then I'll have some sleeves left to do yes I'm very excited and I have enough yarn I usually buy just enough but I thought it was on like a major discount and so I thought I will buy an extra <laughs> just in case. So maybe I'll make a matching hat if there's enough. Anyway, that is a sweater I'm super excited about. I want to finish it by Valentine's Day and wear it for um, whatever if we go out to Valentine's dinner or something like that. Just I like to be a little uh, a little festive. So anyway, hopefully I'll finish this soon. Um, I have a new work in progress to share with you. This is a test knit. Um, and I have seen so many people swear off test knits this year. Um, like on Instagram, I've just seen a lot of people say one of their knitting resolutions is no more test knits. And, um, I was kind of surprised because, well, as someone who puts out a call for test, knit off, test knits often, I was like, Ooh, I hope these aren't, um, some of my testers, but, um, I support you regardless. I will, I will be okay, um, for a year without you. Although I do love all my testers a lot that's like the best part is getting to know them um anyway so i've seen people say no test knits because um it distracts them from like their intentions or their goals for their knitting so i really think it just depends like on who you are as a knitter who you are this year whatever um but that makes a lot of sense to me i think that's great people are like realizing setting boundaries that's um sounds super healthy to me uh i did not say no test knits this year but i do want to be mindful about them because sometimes i have gotten stressed out by a test knit and so there's a lot that goes into that it would be nice if test knits were more inclusive and they were um like a longer length um six weeks for a sweater i don't think is enough um if you're gonna be having size inclusive grading um okay not a soapbox moment but um Sorry about my soapbox moment, but I started to become really interested and I always check to see how long um, do people run their test nets for because I'm interested. I want to know like, you know, how long are you going to give people to make this and are they going to feel stressed or rushed or I don't know. It's just, it's very interesting. Um, I know designers need to put out designs because things change. There's, you know, trends that they want to keep up with, all those things. It's like a push pull, but um, I think it's great that people are realizing that maybe it's not a healthy move for them. All that to say, I signed up for a test knit. <laughs> um, this is the Lily Collar by um, Knit Crits. She has a podcast, uh, so I will link her podcast. So this is her first design, and um, I had had my eye on it for a while. I watched her podcast about it, and I, yeah, I just seen it on Instagram, so I, I intended to test it. Um, for a while so when she put it out I knew I was gonna sign up and apply and yeah so it's a collar and this is actually the back <laughs> so it goes uh like it'll go like this and then have like a panel in the front and then come neck like that I'll try and put a picture in <laughs> uh so I am using um this is knitting for olive and it's for my stash it's wild berries so I knit my sister something with this um and I had one left. So I might need to buy another one of these to finish the project, I'm not sure. Um, and then I'm using this, which is Lang Surrey. And I don't know the color, it's just a number. <laughs> but I got it from my local yarn shop and it was in my stash as well. I previously shared in my knitting plants video, maybe for the fall, that I wanted to make a sweater out of this with a sweaterish quantity of knitting for olive merino I had. But after I swatched it and like the colors didn't go together. I just wasn't like super thrilled with it. So these colors go perfectly together. Um, and I'm really happy with how this is turning out. It's brioche 
and it's flat, so that's the best kind. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I'm excited. I've been wanting a collar like this for a while. Um, I had one and I ended up gifting it to my mom. And so, yeah, I don't have one now. <laughs> so I've been working on that for a little bit. And, oh yes, I have another um, work in progress. So I am knitting this for, um, this is a hat. A muscle bird, I believe. I don't know the pronunciation. There we go. Hat, and it is for um, one of my husband's coworkers that um, has just become a good friend. And so I'm gonna make him a hat. I think it's gonna be for his birthday, which is a long time from now. But I wanted to cast it on um, so that I could just have a car project because if you haven't seen this pattern before, it's just like a giant stockinette tube. Um, and you can do both a top down and a like brim to crown hat <laughs> all in one. So I, yeah, I've made a lot of these patterns and it's kind of like my go-to um, for like a gift hat. And so, yes, I am making this for him. I'm using Lucky Tweed. And um, my husband picked this out for him and Ollie, they went together, picked it out um, from our local yarn shop, Freeman's Creative. And yeah, it's just gonna be a slow project and I'm okay with that. I'm still doing increases to figure out what, um, like what gauge and what size I'm going to make him. So yeah, little hat, um, in progress. Very cute. Hopefully just going to be low stress. Keep it in the car, add a couple rows when I can. Um, yeah. Okay. My last work in progress I have shared before. It is a slip over for my mom. This is not attached. <laughs> Um, here we go. The slipover for my mom, I'm making the Stockholm slipover, which is what I made from, like what I made my bouquet clay one out of. Um, I shared it in the last video maybe. So I wanted to make her one as well. And yeah, I joined, I have like an inch after the underarm. So a while to go and then I'll do the underarm ribbing and I finished this already, so. Yeah, it's going. It's, um, I'm just trying to see if I wove in the ends or not. Yes, I did. <laughs> so glad. Um, so I'm using Cascade Ecological Wool and it's undyed white, I believe. So I made some progress on this. I am liking, um, just the sort of classic look of it. I kind of want one for myself. Um, yeah, I, I like it a lot. I ended up this is kind of unfortunate. I swatched for it, but I guess my swatch was not accurate because when I measured this, it was significantly different than the sizing that it was supposed to be. So I don't know if I swatched, forgot about it, and then picked up the wrong needle size. I do think that's what happened because I think the pattern calls for like a six and I'm using a seven. And so I think I accidentally used the wrong needle size after swatching, which yeah, that's like definitely a common thing for me. I definitely could see that happening. So yeah, I think that happened. So I noticed it like after I had done the back panel and part of the front. And so I ended up just sizing down to the second size and then it's at the size of the third size now. So yeah, hopefully it's gonna work. I'm just hoping like when I block it, I can just meet the measurements. And so far it's, it's like meeting the right measurements that I want it to be. So yeah, kind of unfortunate mistake on my part. I need to label my swatches better or just at all. <laughs> Most of my, my swatches are labeled after I put them away, but sometimes I'll just swatch, leave it out, and then forget like, what needle size did I use? So yeah, that's what happened here, I, I believe. But it's okay. It's gonna meet the measurements for the right size. I am telling myself that. Yes, it will work out. It will work out great. Um, yeah, so that's my last work in progress. Oh no, 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 no. I have a whole other work in progress. I have to find it, one second. I have another work in progress. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I am doing the Pearl Soho um, prison blanket knit along. If anyone else is doing that, let me know um, in the comments or if you are gonna do it one day, let me know too. I have never knit a blanket before and I've never actually followed through on a knit along. I always see that I'm like, that's so cool. Yeah, so <laughs> um, I'm doing this one. 
this is the first square I knit and then I added another. I think the orientation will be like this. Yeah. So they kindly sent me um, these colors that I picked out of Good Wool and um, yeah, I think if you can see my mantle, <laughs> it's like this color. Yep. Pretty much the same color. So I wanted to pick some colors that would kind of go with our house and just like what we gravitate towards um, in terms of like design colors currently. This will probably be not our style in the next, you know, five or 10 years if we move or whatever. But right now I think this will be a good fit with the grays and browns and pinks. So yeah, I made two squares uh, so far. I believe I'm going to keep this as a weekend project. So I'm going to like put it down in the basement where I keep my yarn like all week and then pull it out on the weekends. And then this just be the only thing I work on because um, otherwise like, I think I'll get overwhelmed <laughs> by knitting a whole blanket. It's gonna be big. Like there's nine squares, so yeah. So it's just, I made the smaller one, which is crib sized, but it still seems to be really big. So I knit this square this weekend um, on Saturday and Sunday and yeah, it wasn't like stressful or anything. So I think I'm going to go and keep doing that. I like that idea. So the next time I'm gonna use one of the, um, my second main color. And I've had a lot of questions about the colors I chose. Um, so I'm gonna put them in the, in the description and they're on my Instagram as well, um, if you follow me. So yes, I'm gonna use this. And then my last contrast color is white. So next weekend square, <laughs> can't get this out, will be this color. There we go. Yeah, so I will have an update in a couple weeks with a few more squares. Um, yeah, I'm loving it so far. It feels so warm and squishy. Ollie's liking it, he's been squishing it, and so, yeah, I hope it will be something that our family has for a long time. That is the goal. So yeah, that is actually my last work in progress. And I will be putting that back in the basement, not thinking about it until, until Saturday. Um, yeah, okay, so I do have a yarn acquisition today. I had shared before, like I said, I was not planning to buy more yarn this year. Um, I have a lot of yarn in my stash. If you haven't watched my stash video, <laughs> I have a lot of yarn. Um, but I want to make my son a new hat and he like absolutely loves the hats I've made. Like it's very sweet. He just loves them. And so, um, he wears them constantly. He won't leave the house without a hat. Um, some of our friends joked that, um, that we had just met. They said we, they wouldn't recognize him if he wasn't wearing his purple hat. So, um, anyway, I want to make him another one. And um, I was looking at yarn for my stash and I had a design in mind and I was just trying really hard to make some of the yarn work and it wasn't working. So um, I, I'm gonna keep like the yarns that I was looking at for other designs because um, people really liked, I posted on my Instagram story and said like, which color should I use? I don't know. And people were so kind about it. And so I'm definitely gonna make a design out of those now but I had something specific in mind. So anyway, I wanted to use the yarn that I used for my husband's color work hat that I knit. I knit him this snow frost hat out of Brooklyn Tweed Arbor and Ollie likes trying it on and I like how the color work turned out. And so I decided that I would buy that um, for him. Plus it's for Ollie, so it makes me feel like it's not like it's not for me. And if I was going to just buy him a hat from the store, it would probably cost the same or more for like what I'm what I'm looking for. And so anyway, I'm just justifying it. <laughs> um, it's okay. I'm like I'm fine with it. I'm not I'm not worried about it at all. So anyway, I'll show you what he picked out. We went to a new to us yarn shop. This is Hillsboro Yarn Shop where we went. And I we went there because they carry Brooklyn Tweed um in arbor which is what i was looking for and they happen to have the color that i also have extra from my husband's hat which is hammock yeah that's the same hammock and then ollie also picked out this one which is called sashiko so he i told him he could pick out whatever color he wanted from the arbor shelf and um unfortunately he picked out a different color that was beautiful but it was really really rustic um 
and I was concerned about like how it would be on his forehead, um, his little sensitive skin. And so I, my husband's sensitive to like more rustic yarn. And so I just, I was concerned about that, but he picked this like gorgeous, gorgeous electric blue. Um, and yeah, he really wanted it. So anyway, he was okay. We moved on and he, he picked out some pinks, pink and purple and blue. He was trying to decide between. And so he ended up, I told him it was gonna go with this white, and so then he picked the blue. Um, I really, I think that's gonna be a nice, a nice classic hat, um, especially for color work, it's very high contrast. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I really like it a lot, and I'm gonna put a pom-pom on it because he loves the pom-pom on my husband's hat. Yeah, he just loves it. He had me wear it the other day. He was like, pom-pom hat pom-pom hat like I had to wear it out and so um yeah it was just really funny he loves it so yeah I'm gonna make him a hat and he was so excited the whole way home he was like talking about his blue blue hat that he's gonna have so I'm probably just gonna ignore all my works in progress and um wind this up uh right after this video and cast it on <laughs> um and that's okay with me it's okay it will all get done it will all get done eventually um but yes, also this is something exciting. I, um, if you followed me for a while or you follow me on Instagram, you know that I um, make designs for children's um, knitwear and they're sort of like um, everyday wear patterns, but they have a lot of the classic, more heirloom quality um, details. Uh, so yeah, you can find my Ravelry shop. I think I said that already, but I am taking a small break from putting my designs out right now. I have a hat pattern coming out soon, but after that, there's going to be a pause in my designs because I am taking a grading boot camp by Juliet Works. So yeah, I have done a lot of grading for my patterns and um, like it's fine. I think the, the fit is fine and um, you know, I have good feedback from my testers, but it is the part that takes so long for me. Um, and so I, um, yeah, I invested in that and I'm working on the boot camp right now. I'm really excited. I think it will free up a lot of time for me to just spend on more designs because I sometimes get anxious about the grading aspect. I put it off. Um, sometimes I have errors for my tech editor and so I have to spend time fixing those. And so I am really hopeful that this will free up a lot more design time and, um, that will be like time and money so I can put that back into my designs or into my channel and um, yeah, just have more designs for you guys and um, better, better grading, I guess, um, as well. So yeah, I thanks for watching if you've made it this far, but that's just something I have been working on in the background. And so my knitting has slowed a little bit and um, my designs have definitely slowed because yeah, I'm just trying to put all of my focus into that and so that I can yeah, have better better things for, for everyone. So um, yeah, that's also something else I'm working on and I'll update you guys as the progress grows. I have a special um, project that I'm grading for the actual class that I am so excited about. So once I start seeing like my samples knit up and stuff like that, I will, I will show you guys. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. It's all the knitting content I have. Please um, leave me a comment and tell me what you're working on. I hope you have a, a lovely day and happy knitting.